all smiles in front of the cameras. But behind the scenes, there must have been some intensive diplomacy. Senior trade officials from Pakistan and India met for the first time in three years to improve trade ties. The talks were part of the seven-point peace process that India put on hold following the November 2008 Mumbai attacks, which New Delhi blamed on a militant group that was allegedly operating from Pakistan. The Prime Ministers of the two countries. But tensions between the two neighbours eased last month when Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and his Pakistani counterpart Yusuf Raza Gilani attended the World Cup cricket semi-final between the two countries in northern India. At the conclusion of the two-day talks in the capital Islamabad, Pakistan and India have reported progress in their discussions. The talks were held in the most cordial and constructive atmosphere. Both sides agreed that increase in trade and economic engagement would help not only in the mutual quest for national development, but also contribute in building trust between the two countries. The two sides proposed several measures, including facilitating grant of business visas to promote trade. They also agreed to institutionalize their trade relations. Both sides expressed the intent to explore the possibility of entering into a mutually agreed preferential trading arrangement. Experts have called the development a positive step and say that trade and economic ties can help resolve political disputes between the two nations. The best way to resolve mistrust is to have people-to-people -people contact, to have uh, economic ties. If Pakistan has good economic ties and trade ties with India, then India will have a reason to, or an incentive to resolve all the disputes in, with Pakistan. But the real test lies in the implementation of such agreements. The two countries failed to achieve their earlier decision that set a target of $10 billion bilateral trade by 2010. At present, the bilateral trade between Pakistan and India is around $2 billion. Political differences are believed to be among the main obstacles to improve the economic ties. While India insists trade and economic relations should not be hostage to political differences between the two countries, Pakistan says it wants progress on all issues, including the resolution of long-standing Kashmir dispute. Kamran Yusuf, Press TV, Islamabad.